Cruises are great vacations, but losing your valuables to thieves can spoil your fun. You can lose your luggage, valuables, documents, or devices to thieves on the ship, port, or shore. To avoid this, you need some anti-theft cruise tips. Below, I will show you how to keep your belongings safe and prevent theft on a cruise. Also, I'm sharing my cruise port and sea days planner as a free printable below. 1. RFID Blocking These days, identity thieves can easily steal your credit card information by simply getting close to you and scanning it. They use devices that can read the Radio Frequency Identification RFID, chips embedded in your cards and access your personal and financial data. To be safe, you should keep your credit card in a RFID blocking wallet or bag such as this crossbody bag with RFID block. This bag has a special lining that blocks the signals from the scanners and protects your cards from unauthorized access. I like these RFID wallet for men and RFID wallet for women. I even keep my passport in this RFID blocking passport holder. This holder also has a RFID blocking feature that prevents identity theft and keeps your travel documents secure. By using these products, you can enjoy your cruise vacation without worrying about your privacy and security. 2. Slash proof bags. If you are on a European cruise, you need to be wary of pickpockets. They are very skilled and often work in teams to distract you and snatch your valuables. When you're out and about sightseeing, it's very common for pickpocketers to slash your bags in to steal your wallet. They use sharp knives or scissors to cut through the fabric of your bag and grab your money, cards, or passport. You need a good crossbody, anti-slash bag that can resist such attacks. I like this anti-theft crossbody bag because the strap and bag are slash resistant and there is also RFID blocking so your card information is safe from identity thieves. Here is an anti-theft slash proof bag for men with RFID blocking. By using these bags, you can protect your belongings and enjoy your European cruise without any worries. 3. Don't bring expensive jewelry. I suggest leaving your expensive jewelry at home. This will give you peace of mind and one less thing to worry about while you are on your cruise vacation. You don't want to risk losing or damaging your precious jewelry. Plus, you will avoid attracting unwanted attention from potential thieves who might target you as a tourist. Instead, you can bring some inexpensive accessories that match your outfits. This way, you can still look stylish and have fun without worrying about your belongings. 4. Use your cabin safe. One of the best ways to keep your belongings safe and prevent theft on a cruise is to keep your passport, cash, credit cards and other valuables in your cabin safe. There is no need to be carrying with you when you are out and about on the ship. Your cruise line makes it easy for you to spend money since everything is cashless. You technically don't need anything except for your keycard when you are on board. Of course, you can keep some small bills with you, it will come in handy for tipping. I like to keep my keycard in a lanyard so it's easily accessible, just don't wear the lanyard when you are ashore sightseeing. 5. Don't wear your lanyard on shore. One of the common mistakes that cruise passengers make is to wear their cruise lanyard ashore. It is very convenient and useful when you are on the ship, but it can also make you stand out as a tourist when you are off the ship. When you are out ashore sightseeing, shopping or at the beach, don't wear your cruise lanyard. You will immediately look like a tourist and become a target for thieves and pickpocketers. I suggest keeping a low profile when you are on shore. You can store your keycard and other valuables in a secure pocket or bag. This way, you can avoid drawing attention to yourself and enjoy your shore excursion without any trouble. 6. Don't check in your valuables. One of the most important tips to keep your belongings safe and prevent theft on a cruise is to always keep your passport, cash and other valuables in your carry-on bag. You should never keep them in your check-in luggage that you hand over to the cruise staff. There are several reasons for this. First of all, you will need your passport and credit cards with you when you check in at the cruise port. You will have to show them to the security and the cruise personnel to verify your identity and boarding information. Also, there is a risk of your check-in luggage getting lost, delayed, or damaged. If your passport and valuables are in your check-in luggage, you may lose them forever or have a hard time retrieving them. This can ruin your cruise vacation. Therefore, it's safest if your passport and valuables are with you at all times in your carry-on bag. 
You can also use a RFID blocking wallet to protect your cards from identity theft. By following this tip, you can keep your belongings safe and prevent theft on a cruise. 7. Photocopies of your passport. Always make copies of your passport, IDs and credit cards. Keeping photocopies will ensure you have all the information with you in case you need to get a replacement passport or credit card. You can show the copies to the authorities and prove your identity and citizenship. You can also contact your bank and report the loss or theft of your cards. Keep these photocopies with you, not your checked-in luggage. You should never leave them lying around in your cabin or suitcase, as they can be easily accessed by others. Keep it in your cabin safe. Or even better, if you can just scan them or take pictures of them and keep them in your phone so there are no paper copies to lose. This way, you can store your copies digitally and access them anytime you need. You can also encrypt them or password protect them to prevent unauthorized access. By following this tip, you can keep your belongings safe and prevent theft on a cruise. 8. Use a waterproof phone case. If you are going on a cruise where you will be spending a lot of time at the pool or the beach, you should get a waterproof phone case. It's pretty common for cell phones to be stolen so it's best to keep it with you at all times. You should never leave your phone unattended on a chair, table, or towel. You should always keep it close to your body or in a secure pocket. There are also waterproof bags that are bigger that can hold your phone and wallet. These will come in handy when you are at a public beach. You can wear these bags around your neck, waist, or shoulder. 9. Don't bring designer bags. It's best not to bring designer bags to the cruise because it is an easy target for thieves. When you're out sightseeing, your designer bag will make you a target for pickpockets who might try to snatch it from you or cut it open to get your valuables. Also, you will have to carry your designer bag around with you since I don't recommend you leaving it in your cabin. The cabin steward often leaves the door open when they clean the room, which can expose your bag to anyone passing by. You just never know who might enter your stateroom and take your bag when the doors are often left wide open. Therefore, it's best to leave your designer bags at home. 10. Always lock your luggage. When you leave your stateroom, always make sure your luggage is locked and the cabin safe is locked. I always make sure I have a TSA-approved lock for all luggage including my small carry-on roller bag. I also always make sure my luggage are locked when I check it in during embarkation and debarkation. 11. Beach bag with zipper. If you bring your Kindle, iPad, phone and other devices to the pool, I suggest you keep them in a zippered beach bag. Don't just leave them lying around on the lounge chair. Since it's easy for anyone walking by to just swipe an iPad or phone off your lounge chair. When you leave the lounge chair, take your beach bag with you. If you're at the pool, keep an eye on it but also secure your beach bag to your lounge chair with a towel clip and then throw a towel over it. It will just make it harder for anyone to steal anything from you. I like this beach bag because it is waterproof and has zipper closure. Thanks for watching, please subscribe by pressing button below.